Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Detroit Tigers franchise on MLB The Show 20. Today we have a good episode for you. It is the holidays and the all-star break as it is the 4th of July. Going into this game against the Indians, make sure you drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and want to join the FG fam because we can build a winner together here in Detroit. We got an MLB Network game for the 4th of July, and why not? Because the two best teams in the AL Central right now are going at it. Zach Plesak on the mound, a 6-6 record with a 488 ERA. And right away, he gets Jonathan Scope to go down swinging on the inside fastball. So Plesak gets through his inning no problem. Now Matthew Boyd will take the hill, 7-3 with a 3.37 ERA and a 1-2-2 whip. And he's in a little bit of trouble here as he's got a runner on base with two outs, and he provides another runner on base with that base hit right there. So Indians got us right where they want us. There's a walk from Domingo Santana. That loads it up for Carlos Santana, who takes this one deep to right field. Chasing back, but it's over the wall for a grand salami. The 11th homer of Carlos Santana's season makes it four zip. Indians on top, and it is tough to come back from a first inning grand slam, but that's what we're going to have to try to do here today. 3 2 pitch here in the bottom of the first, and we will finally get out of this inning. And move ahead to the top of the second. Seth Beer grounds one, and that's going to be a brilliant double play ball for the Indians' defense. So now we go bottom two. Oscar Mercado lifts one deep to center. Another two-out bomb by the Cleveland Indians. That's only Mercado's third homer of the season, but it gives the Indians a 5-0 lead. So now here is a base hit in the bottom of the second still. And that one is going to bring home another run. Bases loaded again. Please tell me it doesn't happen. Johnson's going to fly this one deep to center, and that will be caught to end the nightmare so far for Matthew Boyd. Six runs in two innings. Now we're in the top of the fourth, and Jonathan Scope trying to provide a little bit of a spark for this offense. As he lifts one deep to center, that one's gone. His 23rd home run of the season makes it 6-1. to one. Please, Zach, beating himself up. Here's a ground ball, and look at this. Great play coming over to make it is Nico Goodrum. So now a 3-2 pitch here in the bottom of the fifth. This one's headed back to the wall, and that will bounce right off the wall. Roberto Perez getting that one done. So now we take a look here, and it's Lindor coming up, and Francisco Lindor lifts one in the same spot, but this one gets over. That's a homer, a two-run blast, and Lindor's 15th of the year makes it 8-1 Indians. So Hunter Wood coming to the mound now. He is going to try to keep his sub-3 ERA and that's going to be difficult to do as this one is gone. That one is Domingo Santana's 16th home run of the season. Another solo shot, making it 9-1. Indians and Josh Fegley at the dish is going to rip one. Seems like every home run's going to that spot right there. Josh Fegley with his fourth homer of the season. It's a two-run blast, and we get a little bit closer here at 9-3. to three. But it is the top of the seventh. Time's running out here in the bottom of the seventh. It's Wood up against Johnson, and Johnson takes this one to right where Carlos Santana hit the grandy, and he is going to hit a solo shot out there, his third of the season. That makes it 10-3. to three. And the lead is up to seven now for the Indians. And the Indian faithful very happy about this. So, it's a tough comeback to make. Emmanuel Classe going to take the mound now as Hunter Wood has done quite enough damage. 396 ERA for Classe, trying to keep this thing sub four. And he's going to walk a batter. That's Lindor who's going to get the free pass to first. 
Now with two away, Lindor still on first. Still a chance here for the Indians, but Mercado going to fly out to center. Now Kyle Nelson coming in for the Indians. He has a 582 ERA in 17 games pitched. So we'll see what he is able to do as he faces Scope. And Scope lets one fly again. That is gone. Jonathan Scope with another solo shot. He hits two home runs in this game. That's his 24th of the year, and that makes it 10-4. to So a six-run lead is what we are at here in the eighth inning. We need some more runs if we look to make this a better game. So here the pitching again. It's Classe still on the mound, and... This one's going back, 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 and that is gone. A two-run blast. Another one for Domingo Santana. That's his 17th of the year. So three home runs hit by a man with the last name Santana in this game for a total of seven ribbies. That alone would be beating us right now. Here's Josh Fegley again. We need another home run from him in the ninth, and what a catch in the outfield to end this ball game. That's it. The nightmare is over. 12 to 4 is what this one ends as. Wow. We just got absolutely manhandled in this game. Scope had a great game, but. He was basically the only one who had a great game. Fegley played pretty well as well. And Boyd, just a bad outing from him. It's one of those outings where you'll want to just come back out the next time and completely erase your memory. Plezak had an okay outing for them. And we'll move along here through some simulation. We take two of three from the Royals. And going through, the Mariners are offering us a very interesting deal. Shed Long is a very good player in their organization, an A potential player. I know he's 25, but man, middle infielder that we could pop, probably use. Manuel Gomez is all we really have to give up for that, as well as Nick Ames. We're going to go ahead and take that deal from the Mariners. That's one of the best computer deals we've been offered probably ever today is the futures game so we're going to take a look at the futures riley green they're saying he is our future we'll see but he is in there ben nost preston kinney so a couple of user uh draft picks from the last past draft are in here and we also have yogi archibald in there so, three users. Congratulations to those three users for making it into the Futures game. That's pretty interesting to see. But, we are going to player lock Riley Green. who's batting in the three-hole for this game. And right away, top of the first inning with someone on second base. He's going to make it runners on the corners with a single. So, good job from Riley Green. Nice piece of hitting. Spencer Turnbull is the opposing pitcher here. And in the top of the third, a gapper for Riley Green. That's going to be an easy double as he puts himself on with no one away in a leadoff double. So, still there with one away. Here, This one's hit deep to left field. Riley Green's just like, let me just trot. That thing is out of here. Rodriguez hits a two-run bomb and brings home Riley Green with him. That'll open up the scoring for us as it's two to nothing at this point, but it would get a little bit better as now it's four nothing and the bases are loaded with two away and there's Riley Green hitting another Gapparoonie. That thing's going to go and that is going to bring, clear the bases and leave Riley Green on second. So three RBIs on that double, making it seven zip. Matt Manning is pitching for us right now. He is obviously also in the Tigers organization. So a couple guys that they're saying are Tigers futures. So it's 8-0 at this point after the nice catch from Riley Green. And look at that. Can't make a catch out and left. Riley Green will make it to first. It'll be runners on the corners. And he's finally pinch hit for in the eighth inning. So Riley Green will come out. And we will manage the rest of this game. Preston Kinney takes a walk. Ben Nost takes a walk. And they both score. 
off of Marquez for two more runs for us. It's 10 to two now. Hairston hits a triple. We're gonna take Pedroza out, put in Orlando Reyes, who has a .870 RA on the season. That's crazy. So he's doing really well. Rafael and Lorenzo coming in. Now we are gonna get taken right out of the ninth inning, but here we go. Closing it down is Reyes. We win it 10 to two. The AL Futures best the NL Futures. And you can see Riley Green, four for four with three ribbies. What a day for Riley Green. Is he the Futures game MVP? I don't know. They always name a Futures MVP. You guys can name it for me. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you think Riley Green deserves Futures game MVP? It was really Spencer Turnbull and his two-thirds of an inning that really ended it for the National League. As we continue moving on, going into the Home Run Derby now. So this is going to be interesting to see who out of these giants, Matt Olson, Mike Trout, Alec Bregman, Xander Bogarts, Pete Alonzo, Starling Marte, Cody Bellinger, and Javi Baez. Who out of those guys can take it? Matt Olson wins his match against Baez, Pete Alonzo over Bogarts, Marte over Bregman, and Bellinger over Trout. That's surprising a little bit. Bellinger over Marte to make the finals, and Alonzo over Olson to make the finals. So it's Pete Alonzo winning the Home Run Derby 6-5. He is your Home Run Derby champion, Pete Alonzo. Congratulations. That guy is absolutely incredible, and he proves it here at the Home Run Derby with his sheer power. So now we get a chance to move on into the actual Major League All-Star game. So you can see here from looking, we obviously do not have a starter in the All-Star game. So there's a couple Astros, and then we look at the NL All-Stars just to see who's on it. There are four Phillies in this All-Star game. They have Jonathan VR, Andrew McCutcheon, uh, Starling Marte, and Homer Bailey are all Phillies. So that's pretty darn incredible. Joe Jimenez is our only All-Star. So we get a closing pitcher in there. Adley Rushman makes the All-Star game. That's kind of awesome, to be honest with you. So we continue looking here. Yep, Joe Jimenez is the only all-star on our team. So we'll just go ahead, manage this game, see if maybe Joe Jimenez has a chance to come into it. He doesn't really have to come into it, but we'll see what happens. There's a single, there's a strikeout, another single, a flyout, and a solo shot for Eugenio Suarez. And he gives the National League a 1-0 lead. Jacob DeGrom's taken out for Walker Bueller, and this is where things go awry. J.D. Martinez with a two-run blast. Bogarts hits a single with still just one away, so there's still a chance. There's a two-run blast for Bregman, and a four spot in the fourth is not going to prove well for the NL All-Stars. So Shane Bieber is on the mound for us now, and we're doing pretty well here. Walking them loaded, three runs off of Glaber Torres, double. That's awesome. There's a run scored from Eugenio Suarez's single. Trevor Story makes it all the way home, but it's still 7-2. to two. Sean Doolittle on the mound for the National League, and we're going to start our pinch hitting streak as we pinch hit. Get Giancarlo Stanton a shot to hit the ball. Now we got a pinch hit for Ty Tyler Wade's going to get in over Moncada, but... Nothing really happens there. There's a double, leadoff double for Freddie Freeman. We put in Blake Snell. He walks a batter, but he gets the strikeout to end the sixth inning. Trout's up, and we're going to put in Jorge Soler. There, I just had to check to see if he can play center field. Now J.D. Martinez is up, and we're going to put in Willie Calhoun, who's going to fly out. Now for Torres, we can put in Altuve, and he strikes out. So... You know, it is what it is. 7-2 to two is our lead, though. And Kenley Jansen into the game for the National League. Evan White gets on base. Rendon gets on base with a single. 
And now taking out Garver for Adley Rushman. He hits into a double play. Come on, Adley. So, 7-2 is still the score in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Blake Snell was still on the mound. We're going to go Brandon Workman, though. I'd rather not use my closer. <laughs> so, here we go. There's another walk and a ground out. So, Workman working his way through the eighth inning. Into the ninth, Keon Keela on the mound for the National League. Gives up a two-run shot to Willie Calhoun. And that's pretty much going to make it just about impossible for us to lose. So we're going to let Brandon Workman stay in again. I'd rather save my closer. So the AL has defeated the NL in the 2021 All-Star Game 9-2. J.D. Martinez is the player of the game. He went 1-for-2 with a two-run homer. So now we'll take a look at the Triple A All Star game. And you see Kendall Brown, Fran Mill Reyes, Alec Bohm. A lot of good players on there. Braden Young, though, that is a user player. So good to see some users making these uh, appearances in the Futures game and the All Star game. John Lester, that's a cheat. That is a cheat, but we don't have any Triple A All Stars looking through the entire lineup here. Darren O'Day is in AAA now. Ooh, poor guy. Poor guy. Chance Sisko is in AAA as well. We just, we don't have anybody from our squad in this game. Lamonte Wade from our rivals in the Rochester squad for Minnesota. And Braden Young pitching for our squad here out of Rochester. He is a user, so he's doing pretty good so far as we're managing through. But Bowers with a two-run blast. That's going to help us out a whole lot. Now we continue to go through this. Braden Young doing a good job. It's 4 nothing right now, that four spot in the third. It's kind of looking like the Major League All-Star game almost. So here we go looking through. Kendall Brown is up. We're going to start our pinch hitting a little bit early today in this one. There's a fly out. Now we'll pinch hit Franmil Reyes for Donald. He's going to come out. So Braden Young now gives up a double in the bottom of the fifth. It's time to put in someone else. And Plutko gets the strikeout to move along in the game. Very good to see. Very interesting. Lamonte Wade now coming in. He's going to walk. Now we take out Alec Bohm for Ryan Doro. He's going to ground out. And now we have Joseph Austin at DH. We are going to put in Ronald Torres. He's going to get a single. Now we got runners on the corners. Langelaers comes out for Diaz, and he will get another run scored. Nice for him. And it is 5-0 in the bottom of the six. Plutko gets through another easy inning for him. So we're going to go ahead, do some more pinch hitting, obviously, play around with it a little bit. Plutko, again, doing a pretty darn good job. He gets through the seventh really well. And Reyes Marantz has been on the mound for the opposite, the Pacific Coast League All-Stars. So Craig Reese now on the mound for them. Adam Plutko still on the mound for us. We're going to put in someone else, though, for the ninth inning. Edgar Sanchez is going to get his shot. Gives up a single but he does work through, and there it is. The International League has defeated the Pacific Coast League. 5-0. Braden Young is the player of the game, so congratulations, user player, winning player of the game at the AAA All-Star Game. So now we are into the AA All-Star Game, and I can't really, I don't think there's any user player All-Stars in this one. But we do have Raul Rivas and Alex Fiedo off of our Erie Seawolves. I'm not going to be player locking the pitcher because I don't want it to take that long. But we will player lock Raul Rivas who takes a beanball on his back. It's 3-1 in the top of the third though as nothing comes from his beanball. He can't get over there. That's a very tough play to make. He can't get over and make it though. So now it's 7-1 in the top of the third and we've Got to get this out at first, and there we go. Nice scoop by the first baseman. So, but it's still 8-1 here now. Bottom four. This is a little chopper over to short, and he's going to get thrown out. Rebus cannot beat it out. He would get taken out of the game. We would manage through it, but 
it's not really interesting as look at all those zeros from the fifth through the eighth and then a run scored again in the ninth to make it nine to one we obviously did not win this game Rivas went over three he was hit by a pitch Fajardo went two innings gave up three runs so you could say both of our guys did not help in that double a all-star game but we are so ready for the next episode so make sure you drop a like for casey mize taking the mound next episode subscribe if you're new to the channel and can't wait to see more mlb the show 20 content or any franchise content in general as that's all we do here we can build a winner together take care everybody I feel you,